NBA, presented by ESPN on EA Sports, as we get set for tonight's game between the Chicago Bulls and the Washington Wizards. All right, as this game gets underway, Jeff, is there anybody that stands out in your mind that they need to focus on against the Wizards tonight? Here's a guy in Marcin Gortat that can force you to watch him play because he is an impactful player at both ends of the floor. You know his pick and roll ability. Good hands, good finisher. But people forget this guy is a guy who will rebound in traffic and who can protect the rim. This is a legitimate top 10 center in the NBA. Blows past the defender. Wall throws it down in his face with authority. And there's no doubt we'll be seeing that one on SportsCenter. Remember last season, Jeff? First time NBA history, Powell and Marcus Gasol, the first brothers to start the All-Star game. There are a lot of differences in those two brothers, but they have some similar characteristics as well. Agree. Both are terrific passers. Both can finish with either hand. And they both, with different body types, rebound the basketball. And oh, by the way, we'll probably see both in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Wall on the drive. Nice touch at the basket. Nice work getting into the paint to finish. Rose into the front court. Let's it go for two. The Bulls with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Converts on the inside. She's averaging 18 points per game this season. Pound the offensive board. Get extra possession. Great job in the pursuit of the basketball and then finishing at the rim. The assist from number two, John Wall. Two minutes gone by in the first. Chicago's down by four. Miritich for two. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for another possession. Passes out to the perimeter. Ball is tipped, and they come up with it. To Wall. He's among the league leaders in assists per game this season. Off the mark from three. Hey, they may have missed that shot, but that's the type of execution in the first half that sets a great tone going forward. The play broken up nicely by Dudley. Al Gasol was a champion in Los Angeles, Jeff. He wants to be a champion in Chicago. He's been a nice fit for the Bulls. So many people thought his career was on the downside when Chicago signed him a season ago. But he proved last year to be, along with Jimmy Butler, the two most important players on their roster. Al Gasol really was good for the Bulls last year, and I expect him to be an excellent addition again this year. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Pass into the post, pretty assist. The assist from number two, John Wall. Throws the lob. To Porter. Trying to work it down low. Jimmy Butler back with the Bulls. That was the number one priority in the offseason. He has turned into as good a two-way player as there is on the perimeter. What a year Jimmy Butler had bouncing back from a subpar year the year before. The NBA's most improved player. And like you said, Mike, he did it at both ends of the floor. A terrific two-way player. Rose bringing it up. Snell 
from downtown. Snell shot from three-point land, no good. Hey, you're not a one-man team. You've got to spread the ball around so that you can get better shots than that. A coach cannot stand for those type of shots. Snell. Snell for three. Puts it in. Sweet stroke, sweet result. Three points. Number one, Derek Rose. Sessions has the double team close in. Nobody near him. Takes the three. Nails it. It's a double digit lead. The assist from number seven. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Chicago's down by 10. All the talk about getting off to a good start, that's out the window right now. Talk, talk, talk. Everyone talks in this league. Who's doing anything? And this team hasn't done bupkis to get off to a good start. And we have a foul called against Gasol. And Ramon Sessions will go to the line. He's shooting 76% this season. And he connects on the first free throw. And you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled, just to get the ball up into the rim was a great achievement. Rose from three-point territory. Rose's shot from downtown won't go. Poise and precision will get you a better quality shot than that. That's a bailout shot. That's a, I'm gonna try to get us back in and be a hero type of shot. Off the mark on the first free throw. You know, when you watch the Gasols play, Mr. and Mrs. did a good job of teaching unselfishness because both Powell and Mark are both great unselfish passers. You think about it. First of all, how many great passing big men are in the game? And then to have two from the same family, both capable scorers, too. They're not passing because they can't score. They're passing because they were taught the game beautifully. Rose walks it across. Noah on the drive. Come right back down and knock it down. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense one out that time. Won't go from three-point range. It's a first-half lead. You have to set the tone defensively, and all they're doing is hoping the other team misses. Chance for a three-point play. Count the basket, and the foul, a block called against Nene. And Pau Gasol will go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot, and now goes to the free-throw line. Good to see Joaquin Noah healthy, Jeff. I know he's the type of player you would have loved to have coached. Intensity defensively, great passing big. He's never going to put up big scoring numbers, Mike, but he helps you play the game well together at both ends of the floor. Again, it comes back to health. If he's healthy, he's a big-time player for the Chicago Bulls. Sessions draws the double. Then A for two, nails it. Washington shooting 73% from the field. When everybody is involved in touching the ball, like what's happening here in the first half, and you've got your assist total up, then you're going to create also a defensive intensity at the other end of the floor. And that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. To the rim. Oh, pretty pass from Joakim Noah. That's going to be a quick 20-second timeout. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. What is it about Derrick Rose that not only is he fun to watch from the fans, but his teammates really seem to be drawn to him? Well, I think it goes right back to having uh, that Tim Duncan gene, that Steve Nash gene, 
where he's all for them and he wants them to play well too. Rose moves into the front court. McDermott jump shot. Rebound corralled by Wall. Kicks it out to the corner. Moving the ball. Excellent teamwork. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Excellent feed at the rim. Knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. The Wizards up by eight. Right from the start here in the first half, they've made a conscious effort to move the basketball around and get quality shots. Snell's off the mark from three-point land. Washington's performance today, Jeff, they're telling everybody we're a force to be reckoned with. It's the combination of passing and movement. You can always pass the ball, but to get the proper movement and maintain your spacing, that's what makes a team special on offense. Great luck through heavy traffic and attacks the rim. That's an easy dunk right there. You just flush it and take your two points and go back and play some deep. Gasol's looking to set up in the paint. It's a turnover off the deflected pass. Wall against Rose. Right back. Wall fires away. Misses for two. To Rose. Rose for two. Let's it go. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Late stages of the first half. We have a timeout. the defender. Wall, count it, and the foul. Taj Gibson picks up his first personal of the night. Are you kidding me? You're allowing guys to dunk it in your face and you're just touch fouling them? You can't let that guy get his hands above his shoulders. You've got to prevent the basket at all costs. And it's stolen by Nene. To Dudley. Goes to the goal. To Rose. He's got two assists in this contest. Shoots the three. Quarter coming to an end. He'll just throw up the prayer. Buzzer sounds. And the first half comes to an end. Chicago's down by 14. And we're back at the United Center for the second half. Along with me is Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Chicago's trailing right now, Jeff, at halftime, but they're not out of it. What do they have to do? It just starts with playing a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently, with a little higher degree of attention to detail. When you look at that first half, you see little mistakes that compounded themselves into this deficit that they've dug for themselves. They just got to do a better job of concentrating. Telegraph stolen by Dudley. Inside. That's good. Jared Dudley's four for seven from the field. That's just a nice layup right there. Miritich against Porter. Miritich fires away for two. Miritich's attempt won't go. Hey, that was a bailout shot by the offense, but defensively, that's the type of effort and tenacity and attention to detail you need to keep the lead. Shoots for three. Misfires from long distance. Chicago's not having the kind of offensive consistency you need.